I just got asked a brilliant question about trading. Not only is this an interesting question and one that I get asked a lot, but also it's one that I can expand greatly upon, dedicate a bit of time here and truly help you out. Uh, as it is going to be the question of how can I make it in trading? You know, what advice can you give to really set myself apart from the majority of people in this market that are losing money? We all know that around 95% of traders lose money. Okay, well, traders in quotation marks, right? I, I, I say that while doing quotation marks with my hand. Obviously, my camera is off in this video. If you want to see my face, you can see that over in Instagram, right? <laughs> For this YouTube video, no camera. Uh, I'm just going to be taking the question of, you know, how can I make it in trading? How do I start to become profitable? What are some steps and guidelines that you can give, Daniel, to really help me succeed? And yeah, that's what I'm going to be going through in this video. So really simply, I've put it into a little bit of a PowerPoint for you. OK, so how to make it in trading, turn yourself into a profitable trader. I put this together, by the way, in literally uh, five minutes. <laughs> um, I've obviously been doing a question and answers over on Twitter. I'm really trying to have that community uh, interaction and feel with you all. So, you know, I've been doing uh, Q&A and then one of the questions was, uh, you know, how can I make it in trading? Can you please do, uh, you know, explain this in your in your answer and i said you know do you want a quick voice note over on twitter or should i do a video on youtube majority of people have asked for the youtube video right so here it is i uh, put it together in a little bit of a powerpoint let's go so straight into it how to make it in trading cc style okay so turn yourself into a profitable trader okay so starting with some tips and tricks for you all my first tip and honest bit of advice uh, from my own personal opinion and you know where I've come from and seen now thousands and thousands of people come through chart champions and it is really set yourself a plan for the next three to five years uh, you know if you have this expectation that you've maybe read online easy money trading follow the signals uh, follow these posts you know easy indicator buy and sell here etc you've been lied to it's very likely you've fallen into a scam and you are not realistically thinking right now when it comes to trading i think three to five years is a very nice boundary to put yourself in it's as if you are studying a you know a small university degree right and this is something you need to take seriously if you think trading is easy easy money you know, you'll probably be in that 95% that lose it all very quickly. Now, you need to have time and dedication put into this. And I think three years is a realistic. I know some people are going to argue with this shorter, longer. This is the, for the vast majority of people, three to five years, right? And that includes studying, practicing, and then getting out there and profiting. Um, you know, this is a realistic expectation. Um, and actually, I had a really nice conversation with a champion yesterday. And he was telling me, like, you know, this is crazy. What we're, you know, what is available here uh, really can change your life totally. And it's like a hack. It's almost like a hack in the financial system where you can actually make money trading here when you know what you're doing. If you just give it three years, the majority of people give up before that. They don't make it. They walk away with losses. But the people that stick around, it really is like you've hacked the system and you can extract money from this market. So simply, you know, to get to that level, you have to study all the modules. I'm not here to show you chart champions. You can do it wherever you want. But at the end of the day, you need to study. You need to put in the education. And of course, you generally are want to take going to take that from the best, right? People with proven track results, um, people that can show you that they can do it in front of your eyes. Uh, but at the end of the day, you are going to need to educate yourself. OK, so whether it's studying the modules, the speed runs, um, running your statistics etc you're going to have to put in a lot of time efforts on studying educating yourself don't just jump into the markets and start to trade that is a recipe for disaster <laughs> okay uh personally you know again when it comes to strategies to use i would just say this we have now four top quality coaches within chart champions right each of our coaches have their own unique style you know some are day traders some are swing traders we all are using different techniques and strategies so you can basically try and find which of the four coaches you resonate with very well and then of course i would always say first of all start by studying all the modules 
okay and then once you have studied those modules you have all of the uh, understandings of the arsenal of techniques and then you will understand each of the four coaches and then you can decide to follow one of those four coaches that really you know fits with your style of trading whether you're a you know a one minute sculpt trader or whether you're on the um, daily time frame for the swing trades find that coach home in on their style really study them and learn everything you can okay so then once you've got the education locked down let's say you're one one and a half years into your journey okay i, I really personally don't think you need to be trading before you've even hit the one and a half year mark right because you don't have the knowledge and insights necessary you again this is debatable yes it is helpful to start trading earlier and most likely losing but understanding each of those losses is a learning experience if you actually take it seriously from the start and are educating yourself and trading on demo accounts small amounts like it's acceptable but really it's going to be of course more advantageous when you really have that good grasp and understanding of what you're doing then you'll start trading with those low amounts right or in demo accounts etc and with time, start to journal every trade and build statistics. Again, we have an inbuilt journal on the Chart Champions website, right? You can use that journal to journal every trade that you take. Understand why you're taking it. Have a plan thought out. Take those trades. With those, build statistics. Uh, we've actually got coming out uh, the lesson module on statistics to chart champions, right? This will teach you how to build statistics, how to understand them, you know, a lot of people ask, how am I doing this? How are we building statistics? Well, you're going to learn that in Chart Champions in our next module, right? So this is all to come and it's very important, okay? Because that's how you basically have confidence by winning trades, understanding what to trade, having your journal, having your thought processes, having those plans, having high confidence in a trade based off of the statistics, you know, more, to, more times than not, you will win that trade, Okay. Increase position size as your skill grows. That's kind of natural. And <laughs> the more, you know, the better you get at something, the more risk one would be willing to take in terms of monetary gains. Um, you know, it obviously comes with an increased losing potential as well. The more you can win, the more you can lose. But once you've got that large amount, once you've got that confidence, once you've got those statistics in, you know, in front of your eyes, it actually makes sense to increase those position sizes. Okay. Understand then when you're at this level, you can never be at the very top forever. So you always want to be striving to learn more and never come comp become complacent. You know, if you get to the top and then you become complacent, you start to not put in the effort, not put in the time. Markets are something that are forever evolving and forever changing. So if you become complacent and stop trying to improve yourself, you'll notice yourself drop off. You will start losing more trades. You will become not the person you were before so it's very important to not become complacent if you find yourself doing it have someone bam on onto you hold you hold you accountable uh whether this is you know a friend that you've made within the community whether this is your partner whether this is um it doesn't matter <laughs> who it is really but someone that can hold hold you accountable so this doesn't start to slip you need to remain at the very top um and and put in the time and effort so there's one thing that i admire about the other coaches that we got that they will openly admit right there also always learning always open to absorbing new information and myself i will also say this like i'm also learning new things from the coaches right now i find it very interesting and so i personally i'm very happy with the team of coaches that i'm now working with not only are they complacent not only are they comp uh, what's the word i'm looking for here not only are they um comp <laughs> competent that's the word i'm looking for competent and they're able to make money trading but they're also having their own strategies that i am myself and learning from so i find it fascinating and, and and love the team i'm working with right now um so a few new points here that i'd like to add and that is first of all make uh find new markets to trade or branch out into new altcoins okay so this is i've put them together because at the end of the day whether it's altcoins stocks forex etc once you've learned technical analysis once you can use that across all the markets right so eg if you find yourself mastering bitcoin for example don't be scared to branch out into the new altcoins you know technical analysis at the end of the day is the same on all of them and it's like right now bitcoin is moving very sideways it's going very slow but the meme altcoins are extremely volatile well-respected technical analysis lots of profits to be had so uh, right now i'm trading coco uh, do I know what Coco is? No, but it's an altcoin. It's a meme. And uh, yeah, it's got volatility. So and at the end of the day, make new friends, right? Have lots of fun and crush the charts for extreme profit. 
you know, this all comes at the end of the journey, you know, crushing the charts for extreme profit. You can't expect that to be happening in year one. It's very, very unlikely. But you can be making new friends and you can be having lots of fun. If you truly enjoy what you're doing, if you actually enjoy the process of studying, if you actually love trading, uh, even when you're taking losses at the beginning, uh, if you treat them in the right way as learning experiences, then you know you can have a lot of fun in this journey and you're just going to see yourself improving improving and improving every day and you know by the end of it a few years later well you're self-sufficient you've got something that you can do wherever you are in the world you know i love trading why i can do this wherever i want in the world i'm not bound to one location i can make my own you know i can trade whenever i want right 24 7 seven days a week market cryptocurrency if i want to trade at 1 a.m i can trade if i want to trade at 6 a.m i can trade if i want to trade at 9 p.m i can trade i can make my own hours and you know this is kind of influenced by when the market is volatile but at the end of the day the market is open to everybody in the world uh, whenever they want wherever they want i think this is brilliant uh, and the fun thing that I'd like to end with here is my personal new advice that I've kind of made to myself and hey, maybe you can find it helpful too. And that is always just remain humble, right? There's no need to brag and show off, okay? These first two points then, remain humble. You know, remember where you've come from. Um, don't let your new, you know, let's be honest, if you are good at this, you are going to be making money. So rem remind yourself always where you come from, right? There's nothing at the end of the day that can bam you lose everything tomorrow so it's like there's no need for no, no one's better than anyone else we're all equals let's just remain humble remain focused uh don't get hit off the track it's very easy you know you hear these like new money people coming in making money trading blowing it all and you know it's just just yeah there's no in my opinion there's no need to brag there's no need to show off you're not going to see me um doing any of these things and if i started to slip like that's, that's done. I'm not going to be doing any of this anymore. This is just my personal advice to myself and others. You know, it's best to remain you know, private <laughs> at the end of the day. Uh, you don't need, you know, the only people I think that are going to be bragging and showing off are people that ba ba basically want to try and sell you something, try and sell you some sort of lifestyle. I don't need to do that. I'm not going to be doing that. And it's as simple as that. And also then this point, avoid arguments and drama, you know, there's always arguments, there's always drama. When you're at the top of the game, people want to take that throne, right? People want to come for the crown. And a lot of people try and use, you know, for example, myself as, as interaction bait. They want me to reply. They want some sort of interaction. Why? Because we are the top. We are the biggest in the space. We are the best traders in this space. So people try and like thrive off of that. They try and bait you into comments. But at the end of the day, it's all drama. It's all stuff I'm not interested in. I, I couldn't care less. Uh, and if that means, hey, not replying to something and someone thinks I've lost or, uh, you know, just just saying, hey, have your way, man. You can win this. Uh, I'm really don't care like just let someone else win an argument at the end of the day it really doesn't matter focus on yourself focus on your own goals focus on your own trades focus on what you can control on what you're doing if you let yourself get sucked into all the drama wanting comments wanting to know what this person's doing wanting to know what that is yeah, just it's just you know this is child's play like this school drama, man, like you got to be an adult, focus on your goals, focus on and, and use your energy for something positive. Um, so whether that's avoiding arguments, letting other people win, just remaining humble, stop bragging and showing off. Yeah, this is my own personal advice. Once you begin to start to get into this level of having extreme amounts of wealth, right? Use it sensibly. OK, and if you can give back like I had this, yeah, this will I'll show you this question that I received right on uh on twitter which was um da -da 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 -da. yeah like i personally have honestly dedicated my whole life to chart champions now um helping people and changing their lives through trading for me is very rewarding so if you can reach a level where you can give back monetary whether via donations etc uh whether you can give back your time in some way I, I feel giving back when you reach this level of success is is the most rewarding thing that you can do like making more money at the end of the day yeah you, you know you could just make more money and they're just zero zero zeros to your bank account but um i feel the more for myself anyway the more rewarding thing to do right now is interacting with you guys you know seeing you succeed and doing my best to make all that possible and 
you know, how can I do that? Well, my blessing is become, you know, very good at trading. And now with that blessing of being good at trading, you know, I'm finding a good team to work alongside. And with that team, we're putting in our effort to give you very good trading education, which I can see can change your lives. Um, and again, I will respond to this comment for the people that can afford it. <laughs> I would also say this, that you don't really want to get into trading if you don't actually have enough capital. For the people that say chart champions is too expensive, um, I don't really think you're probably in a financial position to be trading in the first place. Uh, again, people are going to disagree with that. Hey, you can make your own ideas at the end of the day. But I personally do think you want to be relatively uh, stable to be starting to trade. Otherwise, you're very likely going to gamble away your money. You know, if you're desperate to make some money right now, if you're lower money, you know, you place one month chart champion subscription, hoping to make uh, your, your money back within the month. You know, it's just unlikely that that's going to happen. Right. Well, yeah, you could get some sort of call cool like this that Igor does, etc. But if you don't understand what he's doing, why he's giving these calls, why he's understanding those levels, you, you're going to mess up the trade in some way. So it's just unlikely um, that that's going to happen. You know, set yourself up, as I mentioned, the first point, a three to five year plan. OK, if you can't sustain yourself, educating yourself for this amount of time, then, you know, it's just not going to be as advantageous as someone uh, advantageous as somebody that can do that. So, um yeah, it's just something to bear in mind as I bring it to a close here. I will just continue to do a few question and answers over on Twitter. So if you want to see more of that, uh, you can follow me over on Twitter. If you want to see my face, hit over on the gram. Uh, but yeah, that was for me just a, a quick presentation that I wanted to give. Uh, giving you some of my personal tips and tricks, ways that you can do this. Um, and, you know, I, I want to see you succeed. I truly, truly want to see you succeed. So... I hope that you can use some of this information. Again, quick, I put it together in five minutes. <laughs> I hope you can use some of that information, nevertheless, to guide you. Uh, if you want to see more in-depth education, you know, where everything goes and everything happens from myself and the team, when, of course, that's chartchampions.com, right? Um, so, yeah, if you want to get involved on these altcoins that we're trading right now, I'm also giving my setups in the group. So, uh, yeah, whether it's alts, whether it's education, whether it's live trading, Wherever it's just a community to hang out with, you know, chartchampions.com. Cheers, everybody. Hope you've thoroughly enjoyed this one. That's me signing out. Goodbye.